Hello everyone, and welcome to Have Game Will Play. This is going to be my new Let's Play project for at least a little while to try it out and see how it goes. See if anybody out there actually wants to watch me play video games. My name is Mark, and today I'm going to start by playing The Lion King for the Sega Genesis. So let's go. It starts. Indeed it does, Timon. Okay. So we're starting out in the Pride Lands, and as you can see, my first enemy encounter was a lizard. And it's a little known fact here that uh, when a lion jumps on a lizard, it just explodes into dust. It's just how nature works. And the hedgehogs, we just roll into them, and they are no more. And we just make our way up the up Pride Rock, I guess this would be. Well, no, because you can see Pride Rock in the distance there. You just make your way up these rocks. And Simba can jump, and those bugs actually explode, so you have to get out of the way. He can jump and roar. I'll show you a roar in a little bit. And these bugs that you can collect refill his life meter. So I just collect the bug. And this was known at the time as being a relatively difficult platformer, so uh, we'll try to roar out here. See? And it terrifies them so much that they just flip over and wet themselves, and <laughs> they just give up. Just give up on life. That bug I just collected um, improves Simba's health meter, so you want to collect those when you see them because it gives you more life. This symbol above me is like a midway point. You hit that, and then if you die afterwards, Simba starts from that location. Um, this game back in 1994, I believe, when it was released, actually won Game of the Year award from Game Player Magazine, and that was over Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which was also a pretty good game. So just goes to show how much they actually liked this game when it was released. And it's got pretty good graphics. The, um, all of the sprites were actually drawn by the Disney Studio, so, I mean, it's basically the same studio that made the film also drew the characters for the game. And we just continue our leap here. Here. So I actually, I was talking about the game, but up here is a secret area. You go down in the little symbol of life icon that I got. That is a continue, so if you lose all of your lives, you can continue where you left off without uh, any penalty, really. Except for the fact that you just lost all your lives and people will make fun of you. And if you roar at these lizards, it scares them enough to stop them for a little bit. And this bug increases our roar meter, so we can roar at more things and scare the life out of them. So we'll grab that, and I think that we got everything in this level now. So we just need to make our way to the boss. Yeah, I got that one up. So we'll just make our way to the boss. We have another little uh, checkpoint here. Grab the bug. And the boss of this battle is one hyena. It's not too bad. You wait for him to pant like that and then jump on him. Oop, I got hit as I said he wasn't too bad. So you wait for him to pant and then you pounce on him twice and he's done. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. We have little, some little cutscenes between um, levels. And then we go into a mini game. This one is Bug Toss, where you have to catch as many bugs as you can with Pumba without catching any bad bugs or letting them hit the ground. Oh, we got a one up there. And I think Pumba can burp once to clear the screen, but I, I I tried to do it and it didn't register in time. But I think you can burp once in the level and clear the screen of all bugs on it. So it just gives you kind of a second chance. So this is Can't Wait to be King, and you tells you to roar at the monkeys, and you'll see what that means in a second. And you can swing on animals' tails and jump on their heads, it's a great level. This level actually used to give me all kinds of trouble when I was a kid. Ah, oh, 
and now it gives me trouble now. But this isn't the part that gave me trouble as a kid. It was a little part riding an ostrich for you, those of you who've actually played the game before. I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. So roar at the monkeys. You'll see we have blue monkeys and pink monkeys. And if you roar at these pink monkeys, they'll jump and change directions. And you can see his little tail is pointing up, so he's going to throw you up. Now his tail is pointing down, he'll throw you down at this point. So we want him to throw up. Oh, yeah, we want the monkey to throw up. And this one, we want him to throw us to the right. And then we jump on the rhino's nose and let the monkeys do their work. Now this is the part that gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. Maybe not this first part because it tells you what to do. It tells you to jump, duck, jump, double jump. This is the one that always killed me as a kid. <laughs> Down. And we're through the first part. Now there's a second one, and that one doesn't tell you what to do, you just have to pay attention. So we got our midpoint, and <laughs> I'll grab onto the hippo's ear with my sharp talon claws, get my continue, and jump over here. I think there's a one up, yeah, there's a one up here. And now I'll jump, oh yeah, <laughs> grab onto his nostril. Could you imagine a lion holding on to your nostril and dangling? So here's the second ostrich ride, and this is the one that always killed me. So let's see how I do. We're gonna jump, down, jump, jump, down, down, double jump, down, down. <laughs> Jump and double jump. Double jump. Oh, that was the last one, too, I think. Ah, oh, fail. So, anyway, that's the one that always killed me as a kid, and it appears that it's continuing its reign of terror now as an adult as well. Lovely. Oh, I could have gotten that one up again. For some reason, I thought it didn't respond. Jump. Down. Jump. Jump. I'm dropping frames. Down. I'm a Sega game. Down. Down. Jump. Double jump. Oh, God. Okay. Let's try this one more time, and let's get this extra life here, just in case we suck again. I have no idea why this is dropping frames. Other than it doesn't like me, so we'll jump, down, jump, jump. Let's see if it'll kill me yet again. Oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> oh, pay attention, Mark. The pattern's not hard. <laughs> well, if anybody's watching this, I hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> I almost died there again. Oh, one up. I swear. It's, not, it's kind of a hard game, but it's not that bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, at some point, I'm just going to have to cut. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, could much else go wrong in this level? Oh, this level, I swear, it used to make me pull my hair out as a child. And, oh, 15 years later, here we are. <laughs> okay, jump. <laughs> Down. Jump. Jump. Down. Down. Double jump. Okay. Down. Down. Jump. Double jump. Double jump. Oh god, we made it! Yay! Okay, 
So, that's the last ostrich ride, and we get a checkpoint, so let's hit that, because I do not want any of that. And now, I think there's a one-up up here. Yep, there it is. I'm going to roar at this monkey and go on the other rhino. Okay, they'll throw us over the water. Okay. So here, we roar at this monkey. Oh, I... Okay, he just throws us down to the ground. There's nothing you can do over here except roar at that monkey and then you have to run back across the water. Ah, like that. And then I think we go back on this rhino without changing anything yet. He's gonna throw us across the water again. And then we should hit that pink monkey we just roared at and he should throw us back across. Yeah. So we roar at this monkey, grab this, oh, get hit by the rhino and land over here, roar at this monkey, rhino, and that should be the end of this level, I believe. Okay. That does it, and we get another mini game here. This one is Bug Hunt with Timon, so it, I mean it's the same general principle, get all the good bugs, don't get the bad bugs, and you're on a time limit this time instead of um, not letting them hit the ground. So if you catch a spider, the game is over before the time limit runs up. Oh, but apparently I hit a spider, or did the clock count down? I didn't see. Well, anyway, after that montage of death for a while, I think we'll call it an episode. And if anybody's watching this and you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below and let me know what you liked. Or if you didn't like it, let me know what I should change, or if you just hate this game, or if you just hate me, that's fine too. And I will try to have these videos posted every couple of days, at the very least. And thank you very much for watching.